Good morning, folks, and uh, you guys requested this, so here is another video where I am traveling yet again. This time, in Vietnam. Okay, 17 hours, three flights, and I'm finally here in Vietnam, and this is a beautiful country. I'm excited to be here. It's a lot of great things to see. I wanna give a big, big shout out to VinFast for sponsoring this video because we're coming here to check out uh, the VinFast vehicles and also everything they have to offer with the uh, VinFast group. Uh, of course, the manufacturing of the VF8 and VF9, which are their electric vehicles, their EVs. So let's not waste any time, and let's go check out Vietnam. <laughs> okay, it wasn't all partying the first day in Vietnam. We got to stay at the Vin Pearl Hotel, which is a beautiful facility. We stayed in actually a couple of Vin Pearls, which they have a few in Vietnam. Great five star hotel facility, and it's part of a Vin Group. Now, it wasn't all fun and games and just hanging around the beach. We also got to check out VinFast's uh, factory facility. And honestly, it's massive. Nine million acres of just manufacturing space for, of course, the EVs. Some, of course, new robotics. You got to see the manufacturing facilities in depth. Now, some areas we had to drive through. Some areas we were able to walk around, like here. This is with kind of the molding press for the different parts of the body panels of the car, which is pretty cool to see. I uh, also got to hang out with a couple of the YouTubers throughout this whole trip. So it was nice to see that what they talked about is actually coming to pass. Electric buses is something they also make too as well. Uh, and uh, this facility just had a massive amount of space. This kind of just let me know that, hey, look, these guys are actually serious. It's not just them talking about things here and there. They also showed, showed us their batteries. They couldn't show us a lot because some things were proprietary. Uh, but as I mentioned again, it was really interesting to see that, you know, they went from uh, stating one thing and saying, hey, we're going to go into EVs about two years ago. And now we're getting to see the fruits of their labors here with vehicles actually coming out uh, pretty soon and also being manufactured. So that part was really interesting and cool for me to see. So next up, of course, is for us to head to Hanoi. It's been a fun trip. Shooting with these guys here. We've got, of course, Andy yeah. Knupsi's back there, over there. But one of the fun things about being in Vietnam here with VinFast is the fact that we got to drive around with the car, the VF8, in Hanoi. Now, to me, this was a fun experience. I could lament and explain, but how about I just show you and then you hear from the other guys because it truly was a deep dive into what the city was all about, the feels, and also the car. It was great. Let's go. Vietnam is incredible. I mean, the scenery is amazing. The place we're at, I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's gorgeous out here. It's hot, it's humid, but we're just living. Man, the VF8 is crazy. I mean, it's like, the fact that they made all of this in such a short period of time is, uh, is un unbelievable. And it's such a polished experience. The car looks nice. Interior is gorgeous too. The ride experience, so smooth, so fluid, like, 
Yo, they're killing it at VinFast. They're killing it. Well, the way that we did it is we got it at night. The hustle and bustle of the city, along with an electric vehicle, it just made it just made for like a really good backdrop and it showed the realness of Vietnam like yeah we're on the beach yeah we're in a resort like but, but like the simple fact that we got to use the VinFast vehicle in its natural environment like where it would actually be used that was like the icing on the cake we got to take turns driving there was a lot of traffic there are a lot of variables we had to use the outside cameras just to make sure we didn't hit things and we, you know, we stopped, we grabbed some stuff to eat. We grabbed so many different shots and it was just fun. Like we, we were out until three o'clock in the morning. We had to be out by seven. But overall, I think the experience was, what was most important about the experience was that that vehicle allowed us to like bond as a group. Um, we got to create together. We got to share new memories and we got to do it in a AC vehicle in Hanoi at night and I'll probably never forget this for the rest of my life. It's time for our full day test drive and uh, this was a very different experience from the drive we had in Hanoi because this was a newer production model from the one we had in Hanoi and it felt really nice this car drives smooth you can see it you can feel it a big shout out to andy and knoopsy for doing my being my outdoor cameraman uh capturing some really great shots while we shot this now i got to sit down and drive for almost an hour we kind of sold the vehicle for a much longer time and it felt good felt comfortable felt very relaxed i had of course one of the very fast drivers there they were shooting some content as well while i was in the car but the experience was just very enjoyable like you know you've got a very plush interior uh, which we'll talk about in a second how they've also done a lot of things to make the interior look fashionable and nice got some drone footage here of course for you show you some overhead shots of the car the car looks nice you've got a center console right there uh, with leather seats very easy to access now i'm not the biggest fan of center consoles but it works well it's 15.6 inches uh nice touch screen display uh within this unit and you've also got nice leather seats uh heated and and cool seat both front and back of the car spacious trunk for you as well uh just great styling overall now the one thing about this vehicle you're gonna like is just the the pickup speed you've got a 420 horsepower uh, 0 to 16 5.3 seconds but a really really nice drive and i think one that a lot of people will definitely appreciate once you get to check it out Few things I love about the VinFast VFA, the size, like it's super smart of VinFast to come out with like a mid-size SUV. You know, you think of Tesla with their Model 3, and if you've ever ridden in that, it's just too small for Americans. Other places around the world, it's fine, and some Americans, it's fine, but you wanna be able to have space to put things in the trunk. You wanna have space for your family if you have one, two, or three kids to put them in the car, and I think this is the right size, and I think that's a big reason why the Tesla Model Y is one of the best-selling electric cars in the world is because of the size. So. VF8, I love that. The second thing I love about it is the premium feel with the leather all around, like the dashboard, the seats. There's air-cooled seats in the front and in the back, and it's incredibly comfortable. But really what I'm super excited about is the VF9. I know this is the VF8, but and it's supposed to come out soon, but the VF9 is just a little bit bigger. I have three kids. It has a third row in case we have friends that are going with and it has more kilowatts. For me, VF8 is a great car, but I would like my wife to have the VF9 with the third row, with the longer range battery pack. But um, overall, it's been really fun to drive out here. Once CES comes around in January, I'm gonna fully test drive like the actual full production ones that are going to customers, and I bet they're gonna be pretty flawless. So anyway, good car and great trip. Just sorry about the sweat. Vietnam is a little hot and humid. Man, this was an interesting trip. It was so much fun spending the week in Vietnam and experiencing the country firsthand. I got to see a lot of stuff that the company is doing. I got to see the country as a whole. And honestly, it was a great experience. Now, VinFast is part of the, you know, the Vin Group, and we got to see some of the real estate they had and how they're changing real estate in Vietnam and what they're just doing there with you know some really nice 
uh, great uh, like mini cities with just great development and almost, it looked really fun. It looked like a place like I would love to stay there myself. Then I was checking out like the Vin University uh, where you got to see them change the level of education, higher education in the country. It was great. And then seeing their manufacturing, but again, experiencing the vehicle itself. Now, what I liked a lot was, you know, they had some really great interior. Yes, I said that's some good interior in the vehicle. Uh, the, the vehicle felt really solid overall. And I just like what they've done. Now, I want to do a full test drive because I want to spend more time with the car itself. And it was great to just experience the country as a whole. But for me, the biggest thing was going, driving through Hanoi and basically having that experience of locals coming over knocking on the window and going do you know this is our car this is made in vietnam that to me was probably the part that really got me the most and said like these are years by the way two years from announcement so that part was actually pretty cool i want to give a big shout out to uh dan from what's inside and also uh to andy kanupsi mike who helped me record all of them for contributing to this video it was fun it was great until next time guys go watch out more stuff on the channel uh and always enjoy your entertainment now i gotta go jet ski